Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone. Let me start by saying that I really enjoy typing. I find it satisfying and relaxing, and I definitely appreciate a high quality keyboard, and I would be the last person to say that you shouldn't spend the money to get a nice keyboard if that's what you want. But with all the reviews and modding videos and sound tests out there, it might start to seem like you really need a mechanical keyboard and that even the expensive keyboards may have to be modified to be any good. Obviously, much of this is subjective, and I can't provide much beyond my opinion, but you probably don't need an expensive keyboard. Maybe you're looking to buy a keyboard to just get some work done, and when you search for keyboard reviews, it seems like all you can find are people talking about the thock of their keyboards and how they had to modify even an already expensive keyboard in order to make it acceptable. That's all well and good, but it's not as if a cheap membrane keyboard is unusable. This is an HHKB Hybrid S. The keys have a smooth, gentle feel without being mushy or vague, and it's just a really comfortable and pleasant keyboard to type on. I really like this keyboard. But it's expensive. If you want a compact, Bluetooth keyboard, you could choose something like this Logitech K380. The keys have a slightly vague, rubbery feel that isn't very satisfying, and the smallish round keys belie a slightly tight key spacing that may take a bit of getting used to. But it supports Bluetooth wireless with quick switching between up to three connected devices. It has excellent battery life on two AAA batteries. And crucially, it's just $30. I greatly prefer the feel of the HHKB, no question. And even in terms of other low-profile keyboards, this one doesn't win many points for feel in my book. But I could absolutely sit down and get a day's work done on this keyboard. It's perfectly usable. But what if you don't need wireless and want to spend even less? This is the Microsoft Wired Keyboard 600. It's a standard, full-size USB keyboard, and I got it for $13. And you know what? It's not bad at all for the price. It's light and a bit flexy, and the keys are a bit spongy, but the keys are smooth enough, they're pretty quiet and pretty stable. They also have a fairly consistent feel. It even has little flip-out feet on the back to adjust the tilt. Honestly, regardless of my subjective opinion on typing feel, I don't think my speed or accuracy suffers in a meaningful way on this keyboard compared to better feeling ones. Not that I'm an amazing typist regardless, but this keyboard provides a totally serviceable typing experience for just $13. Will there be people who scoff at the very idea of using a cheap membrane switch keyboard like this? Sure. And if you want a nicer keyboard for whatever reason, there are nearly endless options these days. But even though high-end keyboards, particularly mechanical keyboards, are all the rage these days, that doesn't mean that a cheap, utilitarian membrane switch keyboard won't do just fine. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.